the topic of discussion for today is the classification of the peripheral nerves according to the function performed these peripheral nerves are classified under two headings efferent motor and the afferent sensory so what are the efferent motor nerve fibers these fibers carry impulses from the spinal cord or brain to the peripheral structures like skeletal muscles or glands so the cell bodies of these axons are located either in the anterior horn of the spinal cord or in the brain stem nuclei next is the afferent or sensory nerve fibers so these fibers carry impulses from the peripheral organs either to the brain or spinal cord and these fibers are the processes of the neurons that are located in the sensory ganglia they transmit sensations like pain touch temperature pressure etc so next the ganglia are nothing but ganglia of the spinal nerves are located on the dorsal nerve roots whereas the cranial nerves the ganglia is located near the nerve concern according to the areas of the innervation these fibers are divided into somatic sensory somatic motor visceral sensory or visceral motor fibers the first one is the somatic sensory fibers they convey impulses from skin bones muscles and joints to the central nervous system and next is somatic motor fibers these somatic motor fibers carry impulses from the cns to the skeletal muscles and the visceral sensory fibers these fibers they convey impulses from the visceral organs as well as blood vessels to the central nervous system and at last are the visceral motor fibers they carry impulses from the cns to the cardiac muscles glands and smooth muscles within the visceral organ and according to the diameter as well as the speed of conduction the peripheral nerves are either myelinated or non myelinated and the fibers of larger diameter are myelinated and hence they conduct impulses rapidly and the fibers that are smaller diameter are unmyelinated and they conduct impulses at a slower rate and they are classified as the following types type a type b and type c fibers so what are the type a fibers so these fibers are the fast conducting fibers with a conduction velocity of approximately 12 to 120 meters per second and the diameter is ranging from 2 micrometers to 20 micrometers the type a fibers has both motor as well as sensory functions and next these fibers are myelinated and are further divided into types based on the diameter and the velocity of the conduction of impulses the first one is motor type a fibers they have like alpha a that is a alpha fibers a gamma fibers and a delta fibers a alpha fibers supply the extra fusel fibers of the skeletal muscles and a gamma fibers supply the intra fusel fibers of the muscle spindles and the a delta fibers are the collaterals to the a alpha and innervate intra fusel fibers and the next is sensory type a fibers so a alpha sensory fibers carry impulses from encapsulated receptors in the skin joints muscles muscle spindles as well as golgi tendon organs so a delta fibers are afferent from thermo receptors and nociceptors and next is type b fibers so these fibers have the conduction velocity of uh, approximately 3 to 15 meters per second and the diameter is 1 to 5 micrometers and these are myelinated fibers which carries preganglionic autonomic efferent fibers or afferent fibers from the skin visera and the free nerve endings in the connective tissues and next are type c fibers so type c fibers are the unmyelinated fibers with a conduction velocity which is very less that is 0.5 to 2 meters per second and the diameter also if you see over here it is 0.2 to 1.5 micrometers these form the post ganglionic autonomic fibers and some sensory fibers of the pain so 
the unmyelinated axons are numerous in the dorsal nerve roots and in the cutaneous nerves. And you can see the table which uh, classifies the various types of fibers, its conduction velocities as well as the diameters.